On today's episode, we've got our first sign for Neuralink human trials in 2022, up close and personal views of the latest Cybertruck prototype at Giga Texas, where production of the Model Y is imminent, and Elon is setting the stage for a big announcement, while at Giga Berlin, progress continues to move slowly forward. Tesla insurance is now available in five US states, and beats by Elon? Tesla patent filings show they might be getting into the personal audio game. So let's get going. Elon Musk's brain implant startup Neuralink is showing signs of being one step closer to human trials in 2022. The company is currently in search of a clinical trial director to oversee testing of the brain computer interface technology in humans. The job posting from Neuralink reads, as the clinical trial director, you'll work closely with some of the most innovative doctors and top engineers, as well as working with Neuralink's first clinical trial participants. You will lead and help build the team responsible for enabling Neuralink's clinical research activities and developing the regulatory interactions that come with a fast-paced and ever-evolving environment. Neuralink have offices in both Texas and Fremont, California, but this particular job is said to be located at Fremont. Actually, from skimming through all of the job postings on the Neuralink site, we can see that they are mostly split between the two offices, except for the category of robot, which has positions exclusively in California. So, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but I think we can deduce that the development and execution of the automated surgical robot that is responsible for implanting and sewing the link device into human and or animal brains is still based at the Fremont lab. Neuralink was founded by Elon in 2016 with the promise of healing paralysis, reversing brain disease, and eventually enabling a human symbiosis with artificial intelligence. In 2019, Elon made his first prediction that a Neuralink device would be implanted in a human skull by 2020. Then in 2020, after showing off a sounder of pigs with the device in their brains, he predicted that human trials would begin by the end of 2021. Then at the end of 2021, after showing us a monkey who plays Pong telepathically with a Neuralink connection, Elon said that 2022 would be the year for human trials at Neuralink. Which is to say, it's not like the company isn't making progress, they've clearly been ramping up their non-human trials with some pretty amazing results as well, it's just that it does get harder to believe Elon when he's constantly setting goalposts and then moving them. Either way, if they are going through the effort and expense to hire a person to be in charge of human trials, then it would only stand to reason that there must be something happening for that person to be in charge of, right? Well, we'll keep you posted. I want to thank Cometeer for partnering with the Tesla space again for today's video. If you're not familiar, Cometeer is an awesome company that offers delicious pour over quality coffee that's convenient, brewed 10 times stronger, and delivered in frozen recyclable aluminum capsules that are sustainably produced. Cometeer sources their coffee from some of the world's best specialty coffee roasters, which is then ground and brewed to perfection. The brewed coffee is then immediately flash frozen to lock in, exceptional freshness and flavor. Making coffee has never been easier with Cometeer. For hot coffee, simply empty the frozen capsule and add eight ounces of hot water to melt. And for iced coffee, fill a glass with eight ounces of water and ice, empty the melted capsule on top of the water and give it a stir. Why pay an arm and a leg at a coffee shop when you can get the same quality of coffee at home in less time than it takes to get out the door? On top of the quality and convenience, all of the materials are completely recyclable, which is a big win for us and our green goals, having a sustainable first mindset is very important to us. For a limited time, Cometeer has a special offer for fans of the channel. You can get $20 off your first purchase, plus free shipping when you click my link. That's 10 free cups of coffee and over 30% off. Your continued support of the channel and our sponsors helps us deliver the best quality content to all of you. So thanks to Cometeer for sponsoring today's video and all of you for supporting the channel. And now let's get back to the video. We have brand new up close and personal views of the latest Tesla Cybertruck build and things are looking good. 
So this really kicked off on January 23rd when our bud Joe the drone operator caught a glimpse of the Cybertruck being delivered to Giga Texas in the back of a covered flatbed. And then on January 24th, we woke up to a wealth of close-up photos and videos of the Cybertruck inside the Austin Gigafactory. It looks like the workers on site and construction crews had free reign to check out the latest prototype version of the Cybertruck, which appears to be the same truck that was spotted driving around the Fremont factory test back in early December. So we don't really have anything new to say about this particular build other than it's pretty cool to now have close up eye level views of it. Honestly, the big ass windshield wiper doesn't look so bad from this angle. Word on the street is that the Cybertruck appearance at Giga Austin, which is now Tesla's corporate headquarters and Elon Musk's primary workplace, will tie in with a product roadmap announcement that Elon is making on the Tesla earnings call Thursday, January 26th. Obviously, that's going to an audio only presentation. It's a literal old fashioned call, but he's clearly staging something with visual impact at the factory involving the Cybertruck. Elon's presentation should also add some much needed clarity on Cybertruck production time. We've recently had an anonymous source pop up and tell media outlets that zero Cybertrucks would be built in 2022, but it's not clear who said that or what they were basing that conclusion on. Something else that was spotted at Giga Texas, not as exciting as a Cybertruck, but still very cool. Jeff Roberts, another dude who often flies drones over Gigafactory Texas, shared a picture of nine brand new Model Y vehicles charging at the factory. It can't be confirmed, obviously, that they were built at Giga Texas, but they all look conspicuously shiny and brand new. They're all either blue or black and all have the same wheel package. So... The start of Model Y production at Gigafactory Texas is not only critical to the company's growth, but it also marks the launch of a new version of the electric SUV featuring Tesla's new structural battery pack and 4680 battery cells. This is another thing that we are eagerly expecting Elon Musk to address on the earnings call. How close is Giga Texas to real production and customer deliveries? Hopefully, we'll find out soon. In another small but crucial win for Tesla in Germany, the Brandenburg State Environment Minister Axel Vogel said on January 19th during a state parliament meeting in Potsdam that Tesla's Gigafactory Berlin will not have any negative effects on the region's drinking water. Water usage has been one of the longest ongoing conflicts between Tesla and so-called environmentalists of the Berlin area, but it came back to the forefront recently after an organization called the Green League and the Brandenburg Nature Conservation Union filed a lawsuit against the State Office of the Environment, claiming that approval for higher water pumping rates to support the Tesla factory could, quote, endanger the public drinking water supply for 170,000 people in the association area. The filing has caused some confusion regarding when the factory, which has been in development since early 2020, will begin production. We first heard that Giga Berlin would be turning out cars by summer 2021, then by the fall, then by year's end, and now we don't know what's going on, to be honest. It had recently been hinted that the new water use lawsuit could hold progress until sometime in February. Nevertheless, the environmental groups do not have support from the state government. Environment Minister Axel Vogel stated that there is no evidence that the drinking water quality could be affected. This is something else we might hear about during the Q4 earnings call on January 26th, but Elon has also recently confirmed that he is traveling to Berlin in mid-February, so we might not have any concrete answers until at least that time. What we do know in the meantime is that there is already some dope graffiti style art on the exterior walls of Giga Berlin. Sawyer Merritt recently shared some pictures from the factory that show off a few of the gigantic murals that have already been painted on the concrete panels. Again, it's not much, but it is a sign that things are moving in the right direction. Tesla announced the expansion of its new insurance business to Arizona and Ohio, making it now available in five American states. Tesla insurance in Arizona and Ohio is using real-time driving behavior, the same as in Texas and Illinois, this means that your monthly insurance rate will be calculated by taking into account your Tesla safety score, which ranks drivers from 0 to 100, based on things like number of forward collision warnings you get, 
the amount of hard braking you do, aggressive turning, unsafe following distance, and if you get forced autopilot disengagements. Basically, the higher the safety score, the less the owner will pay on a monthly basis. Ideally, this will encourage safer driving because the score directly affects how much you will spend on insurance. Tesla will constantly adjust the amount of each owner's monthly installment depending on their safety score. An average driver could save between 20 to 40% and the safest drivers could save between 30 to 60%. Back in October, Elon said that Tesla is aiming to be in most states by the end of 2022. The regulatory landscape for insurance is pretty complex and varies state by state, so Tesla has a lot of work to do to launch in any new region, which slows the rollout of the new product. So this one's pretty interesting. Tesla has applied for a trademark extension in order to be able to sell audio equipment under its own brand. The company applied for both its Tesla and T logo trademarks in this new audio equipment category. On January 24th, Tesla filed trademark applications for microphones, headphones, earphones, digital audio players, sound transmitting apparatus, audio speakers, subwoofers, ear pads for headphones, audio interfaces, audio equalizer apparatus, horns for loudspeakers, and megaphones. Does that mean a new line of Tesla brand personal audio is in the works? Is Beats by Elon or Music by Musk going to be a thing? Yeah, maybe, but not necessarily. Companies often will apply for trademarks that they ended up not using. That being said, even if Tesla were to use this one, it is such a wide ranging trademark category that it's difficult to tell what could come of it. It could be as simple as Tesla developing its own speaker for inside the vehicles and having them branded with their own logo. We know that Tesla does a lot of engineering for their audio systems in house. They've even poached audio engineers from major high end brands like Bang and Olufsen. More recently, Tesla also hired several engineers from Jawbone and Amazon Lab 126, where they developed the Echo speakers. So Tesla definitely has the talent pool to cook up a new personal audio product like headphones or earbuds. I don't know about megaphones, but that would make for a pretty good follow up to the cyber whistle. So that would all be really cool, but I don't see it having much to do with the company's mission to accelerate sustainable energy. And given everything we just finished talking about prior to this story, Elon definitely has some more pressing matters to worry about than making headphones with a T on them. Still, really fun to think about, and maybe worth picking up a few Dogecoins just in case one of these makes a sudden appearance in the Tesla merch store. For more Tesla news delivered straight to your inbox, make sure to subscribe to our Tesla Space newsletter. We keep you up to date on all things Elon Musk, Tesla, SpaceX, Neuralink, and Boring Company, in one quick and fun to read package. Link in the description to sign up, it's theteslaspace.com. And make sure to drag our emails over into your primary inbox so we don't get lost in the promotions tab. Also, don't forget to check out our new Space Race channel and subscribe over there for even more space exploration content. As always, if you wanna to continue to learn about everything regarding Tesla, SpaceX, and Elon Musk, we've got two more video options for you on the screen to check out. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it and subscribe to our channel for weekly content just like this.